Hey friends, we are back. Um, it's been a minute. I think I took like a few days off. Um, so there's a lot of cleanup that I have to do and I have to prep my beds for fall seeds, late summer seeds. Some of them are doing good. Some of them, some of them are not. And um, so I'm gonna add some more stuff. But I do need to get rid of some things um, to make room and I need to let the roots die back um, I just found out that if you leave the roots, um, that's a lot of nutrients for your soil and a lot of food for earthworms. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do some cleanup. It's, there's some embarrassing parts because I've been doing a few things here. Uh, but I wanted to uh, keep you up to speed on everything that I'm doing, even when it doesn't look so nice. Um, so it's just really an update and I wanted to take you with me. So. Let's get moving. <laughs> you guys let me know. Should I keep the broccoli and the cabbage even though they're not producing? Um, I didn't know if I would leave them here and then I would get a harvest later. Um, it's too hot so what I was going to do is cut them off and then um, plant new ones for the fall. But I also don't want to leave the very first bed bare. Um, so well, I will come in here and take this stuff off. This is coriander now, but this was cilantro. There's a lot of stuff in here that's like not doing so well. Probably clean that off a bit. Um, over here on this side, you see my marigolds are dying off. Like really bad. So I'm going to need to cut that back. Um, I think these are these tomatoes um, oh look I forgot one look at this tomato I got one mmm mm, that was so good and I've got two others that I'll snack on but you know I'm getting so many ants they move from one place to another so I originally had them there and then they moved over to that corner and then I water them down and then they moved over here I don't know what to do there's ants everywhere um, my marigolds over here are like going crazy so I'm gonna clean that off and take some of that dead stuff off oh look at my zinnias they're going a little bit crazy I'm gonna clean some of those off too and earlier on um, we had a storm um, Hannah come through and um, it knocked one of my branches um, and it looks like there's some splitting too. Let me show you. What was it? Oh, this one. You see the split here? So I'm going to come back and do... Like, this is just too much. <laughs> I'm going to come back and cut that. We hear on the potatoes. They really didn't do good at all. At all. I mean, I might have one that is trying to survive. But um, I don't even think that this is going to do anything um oh and while i'm at him i'm also adding drip i'll show you a video on that later um so you let me know too i've looked some stuff up and i'm just gonna pull it because i don't think anything is happening and this is the full bed this is a two by four bed that is empty basically because i don't think it's going to produce i did find this um xenia and i just kind of snuck it in here but they're giant zinnia, so that is not a good spot for it. Um, this one was full here of marigolds. I had four marigolds here, which I think um, is a little bit too much. Three or even two would have been perfect. Um, so this has already been cleaned out. Um, hopefully my peppers will do better. I don't know, but they're curling up because it's just heat is torturous. And a lot of these things are just not growing. Um, this is pretty bad and sad. Like I just need to cut this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and this one's just like burnt. I don't know what happened. It's, it's literally hard burnt. So I'm gonna cut this one off. I don't know if these will do good. These are Brussels sprouts. It's, they've never changed. They've been this size forever. Um, take off those sunflowers tomatoes are doing okay but I will uh, remove the tomatillo 
um, I have one left here and another one died off and I left this but I need to cut cut this back this is the other one that just started to die off from the heat and these marigolds are also going just look I mean they're they're not doing good at all um, and you know I want to rethink this I also am working on putting drip on all of this because we still have August August is really hot for us here in South Texas um, you know watermelon is actually really loving this heat it has not been affected at all it's actually growing and I've got more watermelons um, so I'm definitely going to put watermelon more watermelon see I've got that one that's almost ready to harvest um, next year to tolerate this heat um, I've got my crazy zucchini and squash those things are going crazy um, I haven't been able to harvest one zucchini and I will show you why it is a tangled mess in here there is so much going that the fruit can't even grow <laughs> it's just so much so I'm gonna clean this baby a lot a lot this one on the other side is doing a lot better because I had it growing further out so see it's been able to um, have some good space so it looks like I've got some um, squash right there hopefully I get lucky it still looks pretty healthy um, there are some minor um, thrip aphid no just thrip on it spider mites but overall it still looks pretty healthy my peppers have done really good except for the new growth it's uh, getting crispy because of the Sun but we're still producing somewhat with some deformities but you know these will last for a while and you know I'm still able to harvest some oh, so what I'm doing what I'm doing is adding the drip I'm adding some more compost and some worm castings so hopefully give them some strength and they can withstand this heat hey I got this look isn't it cute it's a kimono I didn't even know these existed but oh my gosh this has been like a lifesaver because the Sun and my my Sun hats only cover so much and the Sun is harsh like I am out here for like an hour and I feel my skin burning um, and I wanted something light I didn't want to put a long sleeve shirt um, and this I can just slip on and off it's so cool look and it even comes like this far here Ooh. I didn't want to show all that but <laughs> I'll put some um, info on the description if you want to know about this um, and it's got some daisies um, FYI that's my name if you don't read the description I don't say it here because I just think it's kind of weird that I'm a gardener and my name is Daisy <laughs> um, anyways let me keep showing you I've got a huge a um, threat problem look these are pumpkins Ew. that are not doing well and I started oh the cucumbers I think the cucumbers are very much attracted to it because I've been cutting a lot of it off but if look at the back they're just everywhere yeah so I started cutting some of it a day or two ago let me show you real quick what's happening so I started putting it in this bed I mean in this bag so you can tell like I have a mess this is not a, a nicely tour and I left all the bad stuff in this bag and I haven't put it up I didn't throw it away right away please throw it away right away because look they're all crawling out of the bag oh my goodness hold on let me focus they're crawling out of the bag do you see them they're terrible I'm definitely 
gonna throw that out right now once I'm done here. I don't even want to touch it, it's gross. Um, let me show you, I've got some more over here. Like even the new, let me see, I've been paying attention more often now. But you see there's ants, it's because Thrip is right there. Ants will eat it, but, and I think that's why I have so many ants right now. I've got to come and kill. See, that's a spider mite right there, that black one. I'm just infested over here. I got ants everywhere. But let me show you something. This is my beans. And a lot of the leaves were like this, and then I started getting some new growth. So, hopefully my beans are doing a lot better. But you still got some that need to mature, but they've been like that, so they've They've been stunt for a little bit. Pull this one out, because it just looks terrible. This was um, a nasturtium. My zinnias are growing really good. These are transplanted. They just randomly grew. Um, and I put them in here, and they're doing great. My zucchini never grew. Um, definitely cutting these lettuces. Uh, they're just so huge. And there's so many seed pods in here are actually pretty cool all of these are seed pods see these little so you've got your flowers and then you got your seed pods um, overall this bed I mean I did put some stuff over here I put some carrots and look I've got two oh that's a new one oh maybe I got another one right there oh see maybe I'll get a couple I don't know, I was going to dedicate this bed for a lot of carrots and I think it was still too hot. And I think those are growing right now because we're having a lot of uh, cloudy days. Um, over here, these beautiful, gorgeous red cabbages are doing amazing. Uh, cantaloupe is not producing, so I'm probably going to cut a lot of it off. Um, I already I harvested, excuse me. I've already harvested two cantaloupes and look this is what happens when they start um, getting uh, ripe so we're getting some color it's a good sign so that means this one's not gonna grow bigger anymore it's just gonna ripen I've learned that already but it's okay it's a you know personalized size but they're really good um, oh my pumpkins look at my pumpkins look they're starting to trail out so i think that's going to replace these that are trailing um so i need to cut back those other cantaloupes they're growing so good like i'm telling you i got mess everywhere these are pieces from the um drip line and my zinnias these are doing so good that one's struggling a bit. It might be because of the shade of the bed, um, but we'll see. And, oh, I thought I see a flower there, but um, I need to harvest some of the carrots because they are dying off. And we need to get this bed ready for some more good stuff. I'm gonna replant some tomatoes here because we can, um, take advantage of the long summer that we have long summer heat so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I put some little cherry tomatoes here some basil and there's a little tomato there I think over here my cucumbers my cucumbers and the thrip you see I don't even want to touch it but there it is and I started cutting some because it was looking really bad and I didn't do a good job but I need to keep cutting and cleaning and spraying I haven't been spraying like I should I really didn't want to spray but look at this one look how it snapped a lot of them are doing this they're too close here and they got too big and then voila, my zinnias again. 
<laughs> um, they're leaning over a lot, so I need to really support them. Um, but they're still so gorgeous, so I don't mind walking through this. I'm like, oh, I get to see you like in person. It's your beautiful colors. Oh, this one's my favorite. Look at the color of this one. Man, it's so pretty. I've got a cucumber that's growing here that's also being attacked. Uh, my peppers didn't come out. So I'm going to need to redo this. Oh, and my, uh, my dill has just been attacked by caterpillars. There's some left here, but there isn't any on this side. Oh, you can still see some caterpillars there. I don't know what happens to the other ones. You see that guy right there? And that one. Look at, it. Look at that one. And this little guy. They're chewing it down. It was full. Beautiful. This is a bouquet dill. And I swear there was about 20 of them. Um, I don't know what's happening to that one. It's just hanging there. But there's still another one down there eating away then I don't know what happens probably birds there's a lot of birds here eating them um, beans didn't happen but I've gotten these volunteer tomatoes so maybe uh, we get some action from these pretty soon and then these are pretty much done these sunflowers need to be replaced and I think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna put some more um, look at the size of this leaf this is my hand. <laughs> this is gorgeous. This is, I'm so surprised at this. You know, don't un underestimate your plants. They try to survive, but it's also becoming a tangled mess. Um, and some of this has thrip as well, I think. Yeah, you see that? It's in there. Ugh. Um, and I started to cut back all the stuff that had thrip but they look like they're escaping from my bag. <laughs> um, these are volunteers that are maybe going to produce for me. But they're very lengthy and not, I don't know. I don't think they will do really good. Maybe um, they were reaching for the sun. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much a lot of work right now. <laughs> I told you, I mean, it's not pretty, but it's part of the process. <laughs> um, to show you, these are not the seeds that I planted. They didn't work out, but I transplanted three cucumbers from the other side that I had too many. And it looks like one is gonna make it. So at least I get to have one. And look over here. These are volunteer tomatoes that are growing along the concrete here um, and they're about to start flowering what it's crazy so that's it I wanted you to see what I've got going on all the cleanup that I have um, stay tuned because I will show you the seeds that I'm buying for fall um, I'll show you my drip system that I'm installing I really didn't want to but I'm afraid that I have to here in Texas um, South Texas it's too hot and we'll see um see if that keeps them going so anyways stay tuned for more and um uh, comment let me know what you think <laughs> um tell me what to do with these things because some of it i don't know and i'll just go go with it and, and wing, wing wing it yeah wing it <laughs> i hope you have a great day and i'll see you next time